Here's my GPS puck and I got it plugged in just for power. Why, if I already have GPS on my phone, would I need this fancy Skyhook wireless stuff or an external GPS? So I figure we do a little experiment here. So first, let's go into positioning methods on the phone. And uh, we're gonna try just the integrated uh, GPS. I'm gonna shut the Bluetooth one off here. Okay, so it'll only use integrated GPS. So what I've got here is uh, my stopwatch strapped to a water bottle because I can't hold it and hold the camera at the same time. And uh, this is a Trapster application. The way this works, it's going to start looking for the GPS fix um, even before it connects to uh, GPRS. So um, anyway, let's give it a start. I'm going to attempt to press this button on the stopwatch and uh, this one here at the same time. So GPS, time to fix. Oh, and by the way, I just cold started the cell phone. So ready, set. Go. Okay, it's going to ask me for a connection, but it doesn't matter because it's already searching for GPS. That's just the way the program works. So the status message at the top changes to GPS active in a minute and 27 seconds. Both mode tries GPS and then WPS, but for this test that's not fair because that's going to uh, use up some time while it first tries GPS and that fails and then it goes to WPS. So I'm just going to put it in WPS mode and then I'm going to cold start the phone. Ready, go. Okay, it's going to ask me for a connection. I click MediaNet. So the time to fix in WPS mode was 24 seconds, including the time it took to connect to GPRS. Please often hide so here. there we go. For the next test, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect to Google with the web browser so that I've already got a GPRS connection, and then we'll just time WPS fix time. You see that little E right by the A? That means I'm already connected. Two seconds. Can't get position. WPS fix time not including GPRS connection time was only 9 seconds. Okay, now we're going to put it back into GPS mode. I'm also going back into the positioning settings, I'm going to shut off integrated GPS and I'm going to turn on Bluetooth GPS. Notice that this uh, Bluetooth GPS is off. Those lights are not on. I have to press this button to turn it on. And also, this unit automatically turns off after, I think, like 10 seconds of not sensing a Bluetooth. So that's a fair comparison, because if you walk out of the car with your phone, this is going to shut off anyway. You can't see it because I've got the phone in front of the stopwatch. Sorry about that, but it's right at 20 seconds.